have this fabulous program this fall called Modern Masterworks. And what makes this one really unique is that it's using compo music of composers who are all living. Now that doesn't sound peculiar to most, but remember we're the Bach Festival Society. We specialize in dead Western European men. And so for us to do something of living composers, a whole program of them is really quite unique for us. But we're excited about it because the pieces of music that we have selected are going to change how you look at music. Let me play a little example. We have a piece we're doing called Northern Lights Electric by Paul Morvick. Paul Morvick is a, a 2004 Pulitzer Prize winning composer, great guy, and he's going to be here at our program. And just when you don't expect it, Paul and this whole CD of his, of which Northern Electric Lights is a part, talks about experiences that he's had. And this particular piece, he was inspired by walking in New Hampshire and seeing a display of the Northern Lights. So, you're going to feel like you were on a magic carpet, you grabbed hold of the end of it, and you're being taken through the air on this ride. One of the cool things about this program is I wanted to center it not only on living composers, but I wanted to center it on the issue of light. And so as all these great composers talked about the subject of light, I found this just very intriguing. One of the pieces that are gonna start the program is a piece called Luminosity. And it's written by a very young composer, Chris Rogerson. He's all of 23 or 24 years old, but Chris is gonna be a superstar. One of these days you're gonna recognize you heard his first piece of music here. From luminosity to northern electric lights, let's take the next step. And the next step is Morton Lawrenson's Lux Eterna. This is, will be a piece that you will remember for years to come. Starts with kind of this underpinning driving bass part, which also is reminiscent of the Brahms Requiem. One of my guidelines in selecting music for this program was to pick what I would consider the best of the living composers and the best music that's going to transcend time. You can't do a uh, program of prominent living choral composers and not include Eric Whitaker. The Whitaker piece that I think will transcend time is Luke's Arumque. And it is a, a beautifully layered eight-part piece that just deals with, with warm, rich chords as it talks once again about the subject of our evening, light. Another piece on this program we're really excited about presenting is a piece by Evro Pert, um, one of the world's great composers. What you're going to find in this piece is his use of strings with a bell, with the tubular bells that gives this church sound. Uh, his quote about this work is, I could compare my music to white light, which contains all colors. Only a prism can divide the colors and make them appear. This prism could be the spirit of the listener. One of the biggest pieces on the program is by Stephen Paulus. Stephen Paulus is an award-winning, first-class, internationally acclaimed composer. And one of his most prominent large choral works is called Voices of Light. And it is, it is an astounding piece of music that also takes you on this great journey. This particular movement I'm playing for you is entitled, How God Comes to the Soul. What speaks to me about Stephen Paul's music is a quote from the Cleveland Plain Dealer where they say, he is irresistible in kinetic energy and haunting in lyrical design. This is a person who will also be with us at the concert. Light is a radiance of illumination and it comes from a particular source. And our hope is that as the, the inspiration 
and the topic that inspired the composers also inspires the performers and also inspires the audience. Knowing that an opportunity to hear a great choir and a great orchestra doing great music should change and certainly elevate all of our lives.